Hello everybody, my name is Kendra Moir and welcome back for a new, new series called Civilization 6. Of course, it's not a new series, it's not a new game, but I wanted to come back to it, boys. Uh, there's a brand new DLC that came out uh, not too long ago. It's the new Frontier Pass, basically, basically, and there's a lot of new, from that pass, a lot of bunch of uh, DLCs that are basically uh, packs for uh, civilizations, extra civilizations and stuff like that ever since the last time we played it right at the Gathering Storm thing, a big event. I wanted to come back to this game, why not have a little bit of fun, try one of the new civilizations and also uh, I'm gonna get some, uh, some stuff, some rules in there to make me have a little bit more fun in there or here and all. I'm not going to equip the same regular mods that I usually do. I'm going to equip other mods that are going to be a bit more fun, a bit more challenging to me. Since there's actually a new thing, I'm going to create a game really quick. We're going to hop on in. I'll show you guys real quick what it's all about. All right. Uh, uh, first thing, so there's a lot of new leaders. You can see Embryorex, Alexander the Great, of course. I think he was already last, uh, there last time, though. But the one person that I do want to go for, I do want to play as, is... I'm gonna see really quick it's lagging a little bit right here Kublai Khan this is one of the more uh, recent ones from the pack uh, Frontier Pass and uh, I want to play as him now you can either play as Chinese version or Mongolian uh, version uh, this is the grandson of, uh, of uh, Genghis himself I want to play as him uh, why not try him out right and I'm gonna try it as uh, Mongolia and not China I want to go Mongolia boys so we're going to be doing Mongolia, pretty cool. We're going to go on Chieftain, Standard. We're going to go quick because online is just a bit too quick for me. So we're going to go uh, quick. Uh, continents, we're going to be using Greatest Earth Map. There it is, just like that. And uh, we're going to be using, so I'm going to show you really quick. Uh, these are the old ones. Uh, well, this is an old one, the Apocalypse Mode. We're not going to be using it. Uh, just because of one thing that you're going to see in a minute. Uh, I do not want to go and use apocalypse mode. It's a bit too dangerous. Density at, at 4 with the other thing I'm about to equip. Not too good. Now there is barbarian clans mod. Uh, which is um, actually or mode. Which is actually the same. Uh, it's, it's a really good new thing. It uh, allows the barbarians to mix up together. And actually create clans to be a bit more smarter. And all across the boards and like get us properly so it seems like a pretty good mod not dramatic ages is a bit too tough not gonna do that heroes and legends pretty cool new feature uh, you can basically uh, unlock a new hero discover a new hero and you can get it via some focuses on your city and stuff like that production wise and that hero is really good it's actually a hero it gives you a pretty good uh, unit and stuff and uh, all, every single new hero has some different abilities to them, which makes them all very challenging. You want the, to choose the right one and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool system. I do want to use that. Monopolies and Corporations mod. Same thing, more uh, boys. Same thing right here where it upgrades the luxury uh, resources on your tiles. You put uh, one of the, those things uh, later on on the tile uh, uh, right outside of the one that you have the luxury uh, resource on and it's going to upgrade that luxury resource so we want that on secret societies no thank you tech and civil uh, civic shuffle mode no thank you what we do want is zombie defense mode this is the most interesting one that just got uh, updated as well so you can basically have a zombie apocalypse zombies coming out of nowhere and you're trying to survive against them which is fantastic so you got to work with the other civilizations boys which is exactly what i intend to do so we're going to do that uh we're going to go up on into advanced civilization we're going to do civilization slots 54 civilization boys a uh, 54 civilization is exactly the number of civilization there there is in this game uh we're going to do 10 city states as well there we go, just like that. Ancient Era, quick speed. Uh, the rest is pretty much good. If you want to, uh, you guys yourself, if you ever play, you can now also modify this right here. The actual wonders. Uh, if you uh, want a single wonder or more, uh, all the wonders or no wonders at all in your game, you can uh, choose uh, whatever you want, basically, which is fantastic. Uh, if we take a look right here, you, there's this thing right here as well that's pretty cool. Loyal Capitals, 
which I'm going to do. It basically prevents your capital from uh, rebelling out. So I'm going to equip that. Uh, and uh, we're going to do reduce city's distance. We're not going to do that. Reduce loyalty pressure. Not going to do that either. Resources rule change. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And static state uh, borders. Not going to equip that, boys. But uh, diploma, no duplicate uh, civilization. I don't care about that. I want every single civilization possible. Uh, leaders, though, I'm going to put that on. I don't want the same leaders on, though. Triple uh, A uh, villages. Everything seems good. Let's start it up. Have a little bit of fun, boys. And uh, actually, before we start it up, I want to make sure it is true starting locations. Yes, it's got to be true starting locations. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a bit tough, right? So in my test, I, I actually played with them again. And uh, I ended up being at, in Europe for some reasons. So I don't know why. Uh, I've, I, I really want it to be as good as possible. So let's hop on in, boys. Let's have some fun here. Kublai Khan, grandson of Genghis Khan. You will amass an empire to rival his. You know when to bend and when to strike to gain the advantage. Your wits and political prowess will serve you, as will your martial skill in your conquests. All right, boys, we're hopping in just like that. Our game right here. Let's shut her up really quick. We uh, already unlock all of this. Okay, so we're going to start off obviously starts off automatically with code of laws. We got uh, we start off with one settler and a Mongolian warrior. Uh, we're going to settle already. It tells us to settle in the desert, as you can see. So we're settling here uh, now. It seems like we're settling in the same area. So hopefully this is the right place. We're selling right here. So let's see. Discover new continent. Now it says Europe right here. But I doubt it's Europe, boys. I'm pretty sure it's Mongolian uh, territory. So don't worry about that one. Actually, let me get rid of that really quick. So new, uh, two new to come. Asia. And okay. So this is Asia. It is. Okay. And this is Europe right here. So we're really close to Europe, actually. Okay. You know what? That's probably because this is Russia right here. So Russia is counts as being in Europe for some reason. I thought Russia would be more of Euro-Asia, like uh, Asia type of thing. I don't know. But uh, let's just uh, settle right here. We're going to settle our first city right here, just like that, boys. Xanadu, which is our first city. Uh, we're going to go ahead and equip. You all guys already know how this game works. Or equip all of this to make it as bonus as possible if we go into it. Monuments, we're going to buy it out right away. First production, we're going to go for a scout. I, I want scouts. Now, if you take a look really quick, I'm going to show you heroic tells, that, uh, which is one of the new things. You can go and focus for that, and it's going to basically give you, after you're done with it, uh, a hero, right? You're going to have a hero, a uh, potential hero that's going to pop up as an event and stuff, and then you're going to have to be able to research for that hero itself. But I don't want to waste turns for that. Uh, you can definitely get some heroes quite easily by just unlocking areas. You can discover heroes and then research for them afterwards. So I don't want to like waste my time. Another thing I'm going to do is every two turns, I'm going to be upgrading using this cheat mod right here. You got a lot of stuff. You can upgrade another movement. You can heal her up to max or you can uh, basically restore, give him another attack or just multiply, uh, choose spawn any unit you want or promote uh, that unit. So every two turns, I'm going to be using one of these. Uh, basically at my choosing uh, that's gonna but only one time of course per, uh, per turn and that's gonna allow me to have a little bit more fun but also not too much uh, stuff where I can cheat or whatever right so this first turn so I can't do anything with that unit just yet uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna choose our first research three search since we're close to the desert I feel I got a feeling that we should probably go for mining so that's what I'm gonna go for we're gonna go for mining first and uh, I think we're good Let's start it up, boys. Uh, let's start, let's uh, skip the first round uh, or first turn right here. All right, so in the second turn, you're already going to see what, I'm about, uh, what I showed you in the previous turn. I'm going to promote this unit. I don't see myself really... Actually, I forgot to do something. I want to quickly build uh, a slinger. We're going to quickly build a slinger uh, just like that. And also equip a builder. There we go. We're going to uh, quickly build a builder as well. Uh, use our money while we have a lot, right? Uh, one of my modes, mods that I have on as well as we start off with a lot of money, like three thousand money uh, dollars or something. So that uh, that guy right here, we're just gonna promote him. That's what we're gonna use the turn on. Battle cry, just like that. 
that's what he's going to be using so he's got a bit of an upgrade the rest don't have too much going on right here really i can't uh, purchase anything it's going to be a bit of a slower start obviously uh, we're in the year uh 3900 so it's going to be a bit of a slower start don't worry about it boys it's normal you can hear the uh, mongolian throat singing in the background as well pretty beautiful all right so we're in the third uh, third turn See what we can do with that unit right here. We're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna use him as a scout. We got some natural defenses uh, with uh, these cliffs right here, so that's pretty good. Uh, the slinger. I'm just gonna make him sleep. Now that guy right here can't do anything just yet. Uh, as you can see, I went good for mining right here. There's already some good resources mining. Uh, animal husbandry seems to be a very important one early on as well. Uh, I don't I can't really do anything with my builder just yet so we got to make him sleep he's just there in advance once we're done researching for mining but uh, there is some resources here but not a lot we're starting off pretty dry up in resources not gonna lie right here we don't have anything else going on uh, do we have actual no I don't see anything right yeah no we don't have actual uh, focus or anything we gotta wait for code of laws so uh it doesn't seem like we have any laws going on let's just keep it moving boys not a lot of stuff going on now let's go to the fourth uh turn all right so we're in the fourth turn and what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna upgrade this unit right here i'm gonna upgrade my slinger range versus land units i'm gonna keep him sleeping uh in four turns we're gonna have mining and one turn we're gonna have some laws that we're gonna be able to equip at least uh let's keep him moving up north maybe unlock some stuff zombies oh there it is we see some zombies right here, boys. Look at their feature as well. They really look like zombies. That's kind of cool. All right, so we got to watch out. I don't know if they can infect me. How, did they, how does this work exactly? Can I beat them up? I don't know, boys. Hopefully, they can't infect me or anything. But uh, I already used my cheat to upgrade the slinger. So they're pretty close right here. So already we're uncovering some zombies right here. We got to be careful. I don't know exactly how they work. As we're going to skip a turn right here again. I legit don't know how they work, so we really gotta be careful, right? I'm, uh, I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Scared to fight them off. I'm gonna try and fight them off, see what it does, but uh, look, they're coming in already. There we go. So they count as barbarians, so already there's that. So we got Code of Laws done. So the first thing done right here. We're in the fifth turn. Uh, we gotta choose a new Civic, which I'm gonna go for Foreign Trade, because uh, why not, right? We need some trades. We got um, a scout right here. I want to uncover the north mostly than, more than anything else, right? That's the north I want to uncover. The uh, slinger, I'm going to keep him right here. Three turns still for the mining. Uh, we got to choose, since we do uncover some slash uh, barbarians right here, plus five units strength versus barbarians. We're going to use that. The faith and gold plus production. That's what we start with, boys. That's really good. Okay, so... We're finished up with that. We got our a scout from that. What do we want to go for next? I feel like we don't really need another scout right now. I think uh, just another warrior unit uh, would be doing the trick. Uh, we are going to go and uh, I guess fight him off. Does it do it? I think we're good. Okay, so it is just it counts like a barbarian. It's exactly like a barbarian basically. So I'm guessing the zombies are the barbarians right here. So that's interesting. That's kind of cool. All right, so we got that a little bit more flavor to the game, I guess. So it feels like we're stronger than them, uh, the actual zombies right now, which is a good thing. Really good thing. So we can skip the turn right here. We don't have anything else going on. Four, uh, uh, still four turns to upgrade our population to level two. So we can wait it out a little bit further right here. I just want to get mining, though. Mining uh, seems like it's taking a bit, uh, a bit more, uh, much more of a time right here. We've uh, discovered somebody. So we've uncovered the Chinese boys. All right, all right, got you. So the Chinese are now uh, neighbors. Uh, we do, we know where they are. Yeah, the zombies are not strong. I'm guessing they're going to become stronger along the run. But uh, let's uh, beat that uh, zombie up. There we go. Our first unit destroyed right there, just like that. We're going to move up our scout right here just to uncover if there's any tiles of zombies or whatever. Uh, so we've met a new civilization, just like that. That's perfect. It's going to give us some uh, points right here. Uh, so I guess 
The Chinese Empire. Where are they? Where's the Chinese? They've uncovered me, basically. We don't know where they are, though. We actually don't know where they are, because that's not too good. Oh, so this is uh, this is them right there. Okay, yeah, so... We, uh, we, uh, they have units right here for some reason. They're, they gotta be really close. They gotta be over here or something. They gotta be boys, because otherwise I don't see how they... Uh, they're managing to do all of this. So since we are already building a warrior unit right here, I don't have anything else going on. I can't really buy anything. I think uh, what we should go for is just another scout or maybe just continue to upgrade our unit. You know what? I'm just going to continue to upgrade my unit. Why not? Just give him another upgrade in Torto uh, Tortoise. Obviously, uh, slower turns, six or seven turns that we're going to be at. Uh, when is it due for the next age? We still got a bunch or at least another 20 turn. Trade delegation. I'm going to welcome it. Of course, I am going to need that uh, extra money right here. Oh, they're, they're right there, actually. I think they're right there. They're, they're close up to us big time. Okay, got you. So, uh, Scout, you're going to do your job. I'm going to bring back my warrior unit right here, actually, to the, to the south right here to protect myself. You never know what could happen. Uh, one turn left for the mining. So, next turn, we're going to have to be able to do some mining. I do not love, like the fact that they've got like um, some units, some uh, warrior units in my uh, tile right here. But you can see this is definitely them. That's got to be them right there, the Chinese. That's got to be the Chinese right there. I don't like the fact that they're really close to me like that though. Do not like that whatsoever. I can't really do anything else right now. So uh, let's just keep it moving, I guess. Yeah, we got nothing going on. I could always uh, move out my unit right away uh, to that luxury tile though. Hopefully they're not that uh, he's not gonna their war on me or something. But the problem is we're so close to each other, right? Might be a, uh, become a problem eventually. If we're that close to each other, we're probably gonna end up declaring war to each other. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we've got mining done right here. Let me take a, a bit of a sip of a water right here. All right, nice fresh water for me, boys. Had to uh, take a drink really quick. Uh, what about my scout uh, right here? So it seems like uh, as far as we can go right here up north. I don't know exactly where we are, to be honest. I mean, this is a really, like, it's a it's a greatest Earth map, so I don't know exactly which geography we are on right now. We could be in Europe, but then I, I doubt it, because it's China, so we're definitely in the right spot, I imagine. Uh, if we take right here, yeah, we got a lot of mining facility. Told you guys, this is a, it's a mining zone right here uh, where we are. So we spawn in a mining zone big time. A lot of production for our city. But not a lot of actual, like, uh, housing and stuff. All right, next up, uh, animal husbandry, of course, because this is the next thing that we got to take. Uh, we are at uh, eight, turn, so eight turns right here. So what we could do, since we got this guy, can't really build too much, right? So I'm just going to duplicate another one. I'm going to put another one right here. There we go. We're going to have two builders just like that, boys. And uh, this guy's going to already do his job right here. We're going to put some mines right here. So two mines just like that. That's going to up our uh, production to seven already. Fantastic. So we, now we can skip a turn. We don't have anything else to do. In uh, the next turn, we're going to have population two of, for Xanadu boys. Now, the way I'm going to work it out is every time I've got like a population of maybe... Four or five for my city. I'm going to uh, get another city. But uh, for now, it seems like uh, I'm okay as it is. Uh, you are going to move up right there, actually. And you move up right here. You're going to create another mining facility. Just like that. Perfect. We're getting some Eurekas. Uh, you get over here. You're going to unlock some mysteries right here. Maybe discover Japan along the route. Tech boost. Civic boost. Need more housing, of course. Now we're starting to... Miss out on housing. This is you need farms for this, but I'm not much of a farm guy, boys. We don't have a lot of farming tiles right here. So that's the problem. We're gonna have to make do without it right now. So we're just not gonna settle for. Uh, we're not gonna get too much right here. I, I'm not. Uh, it's not gonna happen. So let's just get. Uh, we got a little bit of faith going on actually. Some faith go growing. Not too much though, boys. We just keep growing. Uh, next turn, I am going to try and see with the Chinese whether or not they want some delegation, trade delegations or whatnot. Make a little bit more friends uh, friends with them, right? Got to focus on the uh, potential Japanese before focusing on the Chinese right there on, on ourselves. So 
Uh, I am gonna keep him up uh, up south right here. There's another warrior unit right here that I got, so I'm gonna keep him up south. Protect my units, basically. That's all I'm gonna do. Uh, this guy right here, get another mining facility done. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else that I can build right now. I am gonna use, where it's, since we're at turn 10, I'm gonna uh, give him a promotion like that. Battle cry, and there it is. So he's got a promotion. Got some strong units already uh, to start with, boys. And that's pretty much it. We got a new production we got to choose right here. Now, we could go for a settler, it says, obviously, because we got population 2. But, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think a population 2 is enough for me to get a settler. Obviously, the f second city I'm going to get is in the, in the north right here. But uh, right now, I feel like uh, we should probably focus maybe on the heroic tales. Why not? Maybe get ourselves a hero or something, boys. Could be good. Could be good. I, I did want to see, make some diplomatic uh, decisions for them. For the Chinese. They don't want anything. They don't want to do anything with us. Okay, so that's fine by me, I guess. We don't, uh, they don't want to deal with us at all. Let's just skip a turn, boys, I guess. They don't want to deal with us. It's fine. We Grandpa? Hey, this is my grandpa right here, Genkis Khan, boys. The hell's he doing here? So we got our grandpa actually discovering us. So we got two Mongolia, uh, Mongolian empires, I guess. Trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Foreign trade. We got foreign trade. Joint war. Join ongoing wars. Allow the creation of trade routes, of course. So we got the trade routes and stuff like that now. Uh, anything interesting right here? Trade for uh, per trade route? Yeah, I do want that. Uh, I, I'm going to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely going to do that now. Yeah, that's perfect. So we're going to get a lot of money out of trade routes, which is the one thing I'm going to... I'm going to straight away equip that. I'm going to buy one, quickly buy one straight away like that. So we've met a new civilization. I don't know where they are, where these Mongolians are. Genkis in itself. Uh, we're about to find out eventually, I guess. Uh, I don't know exactly where they are, though. So uh, let's keep him right here. We can go into their territories for now. This guy can't really do too much with him. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, you are going to go here. You're going to sleep until we get on a, a animal as And uh, I guess you as well, you're going to sleep. There's not a lot we can do with you. The scout. Uh, let's try and focus right here. Oh, we got some tribals, uh, tribal village right here. Perfect. We get that and it's going to give us a population boost or something. Yeah, uh, we're really in need of a lot of housing right now. So we really need to get that going. Uh, open civics. Can, can, uh, we could get uh, craftsmanship, but I'm just going to go for uh, early empire right now. That's the best thing you can go for right here. All right, so Genghis. Now, I definitely want to get friends, uh, be friends with Genghis Khan, boys. I'm not going to lie right here. Gifts are un unnecessary. All right. But I want to be friends with him. That's for sure. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I, I want to be friends with him, though. I want to make sure to keep friends because, I mean, we're the same family. We're part of the same family. So you got to stay friends with uh, with your grandpa, right? All right. So Mongolians, the grand our grandpa just decided to give us a delegation, which is fine by us. As you can see, the Chinese, they just got a second city. We got discovered the hero. There it is. Hippolyta, boys. All right. You can claim this hero by completing a hero devotion project, which I know what it is. Hippolyta automatically heals 20 HP each turn. That's good. She automatically heals herself. Ignores the movement penalties and targets an adjacent friendly unit that has moved or attacked this turn. Immediately restores the unit's move and attacks. Oh, that's really cool. Well, we need that one. We definitely need that one. Yeah, we need Hippolyta, boys. She's going to be great for us. Uh, two turns to get her. That's fantastic. We got the trade route we can use. Uh, let's send him to Jiang uh, right here. Now they've got, uh, he's got already a second city. So already they've got two cities going on. They've got some zombies going on as well right here. Uh, we can help them out with that. Or I could just continue expand upon this little region right here. I'm going to try and continue to expand really quick. Uh, we got my scout. I just want to move my scout really quick. There we go. You remember some experience for that unit and maybe some boost as well for population. Perfect. Uh, we do have an upgrade, yeah, for him and stuff. Okay, so everything's good on that part. Let's uh, 
let's find out. Uh, we don't have any models bendery yet, right? No, we don't. So what I can do is help these guys out really quick. Uh, I am gonna give him a bonus though. It's dangerous. I want to fight against the zombies. If they can, uh, the zombies can deal with the, these guys. I'm gonna be fine. So I'll just hop back where I was. There we go. A little bonus right here. Promotion. Tortoise for him. And that's pretty much it. So we don't have anything else going on. So the Chinese are all, already have two cities. Somehow. They're growing fast, boys. They're really growing fast. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Animal was Bendery, boys. There it is. A pasture, camp, and horses uh, resource. Perfect. You can see the zombies are actually attacking uh, the city right here. So that's perfect. As it is. I'm gonna, I'll let the Chinese deal with that. Uh, bring these guys up. So I guess the Mongolia is on the right here. That's where they are. Uh, our territories themselves. Uh, I'm going to just keep my warrior units right here. Fortify them for now. I'm not going to go into war with uh, anybody really. Oh, there's a barbarian camp right here. Okay, so we know where to send these guys, uh, my warriors. I know where to send my warrior boys. Uh, they're right there. So that's should be Korea right here or close to that region, right? So, oh, actually, uh, now that I think about it, he does. He did have a promotion. That's right. So let's give him that promotion. And now that we've got animal husbandry as well, uh, that means that this guy can do something right here. There we go. Can upgrade that tile. Perfect. I don't have any other resources right here, though. I could potentially uh, just buy that tile. There we go. Just buy that tile. I, I send this guy right here. I'm gonna. He's going to be able to get that resource going as well. Uh, that's perfect. All right. So uh, new research. Let's find out that new research. We unlock these three uh, things, for these two right here. But we want to go for one of these. We uh, do want to go for pottery, of course. So let's go for pottery first. And afterwards, we'll deal with the rest. Do I want a settler, boys? I should probably start to settle, actually, a second city now. Now that I think about it, because the, uh, these guys, since the Chinese already have two cities, you know, we might have to do it. Now, I don't know if I want to settle right here or whatnot. This could be a, right, a, a really good spot for to settle a second city. Let's get ourselves a second settler. There we go. And uh, because it was already maxing out right here. So see, it, I can't go right here. Uh, this is where I should be all right. So it says I can settle right here or over here. Now, this is really close to our barbarian camp. So we're going to have to clear that up before settling in there. I feel like I should probably settle, uh, settle my second city at least right here for now. Right. So get a, a second one right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's skip this turn right here, boys. All right, a hero rocks among us. The devotion of the people of Mongolia has compelled their first hero, Ippolita, to join their cause. We got our very first hero, boys. There she is right there. Uh, we're going to send our warrior units up, uh, up the east right here. My settler, I'm going to send him right here. That's going to be where he's going to settle. We've got Ippolita, boys. Uh, command, She's co she can command this guy. And give him the opportunity to move up even further. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I am going to send her over here though. Uh, I'm going to send her over here. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. We're going to give her a promotion as well. Uh, let's give that builder something to do. There we go. Uh, I don't need any other builders right now. It seems like we've pretty much done everything we were supposed to be doing right here. There's a barbarian's quadrium as well. Interesting. This has got some quadrums and everything. All right, anything else that we got? Uh, pottery is in the works, so I don't have anything else right now. We already have uh, Epilita, so I'm guessing the next thing I could do, because I've got a scout in the north, I could get a, a second scout, right? Just get a second scout right now and get him uh, working on the south, I guess. Unlock the south, uh, Mysteries of the South. So let's do that. All right, so since we can upgrade uh, something... Let's uh, give her uh, a bonus. There we go. Give her a promotion. Echelon. There we go. She's got a promotion. We're going to attack, obviously, this place right here. So it seems like uh, this actually place uh, builds up quadrirems and stuff like that. So we've got to be careful, uh, so especially since it's uh, we're near the seas and everything. So uh, I think we're good for now, though. We don't have anything else going on. Genghis, can you, do you want to be friends? Unnecessary. We do not want to be friends. I don't like that, though. I really wish they, we could be friends or something. Uh, where are the zombies? Did they take care of the zombies? Maybe. I think they did, boys. 
All right, we're in the next turn. We got attacked a little bit by the Quadririms right here. It seems like uh, Quadririms are really getting close to us. I'm actually going to send this warrior unit right here uh, to just to escort my settler. And uh, this guy right here is going to move up uh, up uh, this uh, echelon. She's going to start attacking. Boom. She does a lot of damage, as you can see. The heroes do a lot of damage. And uh, this guy right here in one turn is going to be good. Let's see. 15. Yeah, I don't have anything to buy right here. So we're good. We're good on that part. Uh, what we do need to go is uh, we need to go right here. And we are going to go ahead and settle right here. Boom. Second city just like that, boys. Let's go ahead and give him all the little bonuses right here. Hold on. There we go. Just all the little bonuses we can get. Now, he doesn't uh, get any money right now. But he's going to have a lot of re luxury resources available to him. Uh, rec uh, recent enough. Uh, first thing we're going to do, give him the monument straight up. There we go. So he's got the monument. And now... What do you want to go for, buddy? Uh, I feel like one hero is enough, so maybe a slinger? Yeah, a slinger for sure. Let's get a slinger going for this guy. And we're also... Do I want to uh, get... Actually, let's get a builder right here. Let's quickly build a builder right here. It's going to take care of uh, all the little resources that uh, we need. And I think that's pretty much it for now. I think uh, we're good on that part. I can always rename these guys, but I don't feel like doing it right now. Ippolita's doing a great job, so let's keep it going, boys. We're skipping a lot of turns. Not a lot of stuff going on, not gonna lie. It's very early on. We are having some fighting, which is helping out my uh, my warrior units and stuff. There's a lot of barbarians over here in this region. We can clear them out and have uh, some clear space for us. All right, here we go. Next turn again. Now, we need more housing, it says. Uh, which one? We're good on that part, so it's uh, oh this one. So core already has some difficulty with housing. Not for too long. We're going to get some housing from these farms right here. Irrigation, right? It's going to help us out. There we go. It's going to help us out a little bit. We've got our warrior unit. I'm going to send it right here just to take a long route. All right, my scout. Your job is going to uncover the west right here. You are going to try and uncover. There we go. Just like that. Do we? Did we get that? Uh, treat with the t uh, three cells clan. Oh, so that's what uh, okay, so we can hire them hold on Go to uh, spend a hundred and ninety one gold to hire a quadram unit from this clan the unit will appear near the city Okay, no, okay, so the clan will gain five uh, points towards city-state conversion So it's, it counts as a city-state. Okay gold to prevent this clan from attacking your cities from 13 turns so we can get a priest peace treaty or spend gold to encourage encourage the, uh, this clan to attack another nearby civilization. Why not? Give him money and we're, and we're inside him. There we go. So we gave him money now, and he's actually gonna attack for uh, attack the uh, bar uh, the the Chinese. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna keep my unit there though. But that's that's what the clan does. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And uh, do I want to use that? Not really. I feel like we don't have anywhere else to go though, right? Yeah, I don't feel like we have anywhere else to go. Can, do we have to attack these guys? Like, I can't really... What does this do? Like, I can't really do anything with this clan, so... I can't get rid of this, right? I incited them. I uh, bribed them. Let's bribe them up as well. There we go. So we incited them. And we bribed them. So all them them. Uh, and uh, can we get the... Higher. There we go. And we just got a quadrium as well. So, all right. So, we're getting a bunch of stuff. You know what? Uh, from Just from that, we are actually at peace with the barbarians right now. So, we don't have to worry about them. We've got some actual... Uh, 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 our first uh, naval uh, advantage, boys. We've got the uh, naval advantage over anybody else, really. We've got a fleet going on. Good. Well, Ippolita, I'm going to spend you back right here, I guess. We don't have anything to do with you. Uh, you're going to keep going there into siberia and what about the the rest right here so you have something you, you need to to get maybe another warrior unit not really i really can't go for anything really particular so i'm guessing just a builder or just some scouts really just keep going for scouts and uh, the more scouts the better right you can unlock more scouts faster this uh this one this city is not looking too good for them it looks like uh we're doing just fine on our turn yeah, well, i don't see anything else going on 
don't think there's anything else I can do. I've got uh, my first uh, my first ship. We got like uh, literally peace a peace treaty for 13 turns with uh, these barbarians right here, this clan. And also we asked them to focus their efforts on Chinese. So they're gonna deal some uh, have uh, deal a little bit of problems to the Chinese uh, government. So that's pretty good. Wait, they're attacking me. I thought we were at peace, buddy. That's not fair though. Okay, so they start attacking me. That's not fair at all. Okay, 17 turn. Hippolyta, you're gonna start moving right here. You are gonna start. Yeah, you're gonna continue to build a bunch of stuff. So build like a, a mine facility right here. Yeah, I don't think I can beat these guys up for some reason. I don't know how this works, but I don't think I can do anything. There's a volcano active right here. Okay. Uh, one of our ships right here. So they attacked us, right? So we can actually attack them still. There we go. Well, I mean, we were supposed to have peace, I guess, but uh, you attacked us anyway, so whatever. Okay, so there is... Uh, so this is uh, the uh, the other Mongolians, I guess. They're right there. We uh, discovered where they were. The scout right here. You're going to keep moving. Seems like a, a, some sort of area we can move right here. And uh, I think we're good for the rest. Uh, there's not uh, anything else I can go for, so... Let's keep it moving, I guess. Now, I don't like what uh, my grandpa's doing right here. I do not like this. He's mobilizing his army right here. As you can see, three warrior units. He's got another one, a fourth one right here. There's a lot of barbarians that camped out on the north. Popped up like that, but uh, I don't like to see that. I don't know what this is all about right here. I hope he's not planning on attacking me or anything, but uh, let's hope it's not the case, boys. Can I get this guy right here? I'm, go I'm just going to station him here uh, for now, boys, I guess. Uh, this scout right here, keep moving. Here we go. Keep uncovering a bunch of stuff. Uh, you are going to go here. Yeah, you're going to do your duty right here. And uh, she can't really do too much. You're going to go here and you're going to start attacking, right? You're going to protect this place. All right, so hopefully they don't uh, steal my unit right here or anything. We're going to go continue to go west right here. There we go. Uncover more. So they've got two cities as well. Yeah, most, uh, most places have two cities uh, going on. That's pretty good. All right, so we're good on that part. Nothing else going on. Uh, 12 gold per turn, three, five. We need to get more uh, science, but it's going to be hard to get that done, boys. So I don't have anything else going on right now. It seems like not, not the, this is like literally natural fortifications, but from the east only, as you can see. The walls, not for na natural walls, but can't really do anything other than just wait i guess and what do i do with the clans themselves right can i not defeat them i thought i could possibly get rid of them right but it doesn't seem like it and i forgot to use my uh, my cheat uh for the turn 18 right there so i'm gonna have to use it on turn uh, 19 my troops were mainly paced passing by buddy yeah don't worry about it it's just my scout for some reason uh, my grandpa is not happy about the fact i had a scout going into his territory so i don't know why I mean, it's just a scout, for Christ's sake. Chill out, buddy. All right, so my troops are merely passing by. Yeah, let me uh, take care of that uh, unit. Oh, yeah, that's a big encampment right here. Yeah, we're going to take care of that big boy right here. That is not good, actually, because he's blocking me. Okay, I'm going to have to make him sleep really quick. He's blocking my attempts right here. That's not good. The hell? All right, so what do we do with that scout? We're going to send him south, I guess. Yep. Uh, this squadron right here, we gotta deal with another one right here. Boom, just like that. We are actually... Oh, there it is. Okay, raid the clan, disperse the clan. Oh, so that's how you do it. Okay, all right, all right, I got you. There we go. The danger, and now I got rid of them? Okay, good, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, boys. You gotta disperse them like that. Okay, I got you. Now I got it. All right, so no more clans right there. So that's how you do it. Get the sand, uh, the sand snake. Well, a warrior from this clan. I could buy some warriors from this clan. But I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm just going to focus my war efforts on them. So what I'm going to do. I can't really do anything else right now. This scout right here seems like he's available. Yes, he is. Let's keep him moving. Okay, so this, is, this, this ends pretty much here at the volcano right here. This is the limit of it. Of this place. Oh, we got to choose a research. Our next research. Uh, we're going to go for irrigation. There it is. Production over the city. You can get granary just like that. So that's done. Let's just, I guess, go for another builder, I guess. Right? We don't really have anything uh, we can go for right here. Uh, quickly build the granary over here as well. 
and that's pretty much it we do have a cheat code we can use i just want to use my other unit uh just to at attack again oh oh okay i see i see there we go just attack okay i, I can't i can't do it okay so now i want to do restore unit attack there it is okay so that's what i want to do there we go so uh with that unit now i managed to use uh, my epilita i managed to use her in order to clear that face out that guy's going to be my uh, builder in the next turn. is going to be able to get back here, do his thing. Let's go to the 20th turn, boys. Uh, she's pretty rude, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, take some hospitality from her. We just uncovered Georgia and we just got attacked. So we're getting invaded. By the other Mongolians, by my grandpa. <laughs> Motherfucker, what is wrong with you? You're my grandpa. Declares a surprise war against me. Okay. So we just got declared war upon by the other Mongolians. So we're at war with uh, our grandpa boys. That's great. Uh, we got some major flooding going on in Korea as well. We don't have to worry too much about that. Alright, so I don't know if I should deal with these barbarians. I should probably deal with them anyways, right? It is my duty to do so anyways, because they are a danger to me uh, nonetheless. So let's do it. Uh, let's finish up these guys. I'm going to be able to use my boat to probably kill some uh, neighboring cities. There's, uh, they actually put up the... Wait, the, the Chinese pulled up another city right there? They must be goddamn... They're crazy or something, boys. They pulled out another city. All right. All right, let's get over here, boys. There's actually... Oh, that's nice. There's a, a tribal clan right there. Okay, let's get all of this. So we're at war now with uh, the Mongolians. The two Mongolians be at war with each other, of course. Makes sense. Let's see what we can do. We're probably going to need a unit, boys. Some more units right here. Some actual slingers can yeah, move in the fields and do some stuff. Maybe, right? Uh, I'm going to keep these guys up in the city right here. But uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty rough right here. I got to deal with these barbarians first. And then I'll be able to deal with the other ones. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just get another warrior unit, I guess. I don't really have much of a choice right here. So, we're going to duplicate one. Uh, get another warrior unit uh, right here. Boom, just like that. And that's going to be my cheat for the, the Ma right here. Let's uh, go ahead and attack them. There we go. We just captured a uh, builder as well, just like that. So, that's going to be our turn, I guess. That's going to be our turn, boys. I just spawned into a, another warrior as well. So we got, we stole one of their builder. I'm going to have to send him back over here. And uh, we got a, a one bonus a warrior unit. We're going to start attacking them from the north first. And then uh, attacking their capital first and then taking care of that. That seems like it's pretty much it. I actually don't need to go for a builder anymore. I could probably send that builder uh, south actually. Now that I think about it. So what I want to go for there uh, then. I think I want to go for... Uh, warrior unit? Yeah, since I'm at war, let's go for a slinger. Another slinger. We're at war after all, so let's go for another slinger, boys. And I think that's pretty much it for us. Uh, since we're at war with them, can you can you help me out, buddy? Rege delegation reject. Make a deal. Uh, join the ongoing war against Genghis Khan. All right, buddy. And I'll give you some money. I'll give you some horse resources or something. Uh, maybe yeah, give you some horse resources. He doesn't want 10 gold per turn. Wow, he's not interested. Uh, how about uh, how about I give you like uh, like a thousand, a thousand gold? He's not interested. He doesn't want to be at war with them. Okay. All right. Well, I can't ask for anything from the Chinese. Uh, they don't want to go at war with them. So I'm kind of stuck alone against the other Mongolians right here, boys. This is uh, this is just fantastic. Let's keep it moving. Uh, there's uh, my scout right here. Yeah, I gotta move him. Let's keep it moving, I guess. I don't uh, don't know what to do here aside from protecting myself, really. All right, so we're getting attacked, of course. Some combat going on in the south and the north right here. Well, mostly in the north. Uh, obviously, the last thing I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to equip this guy right here. He's going to uh, go in Xanadu. He's going to protect my main capital, of course. There it is. We got early empire done as well. Uh, so we're still working on that. Now, these guys... They're starting to invade my places right there. So this is not good. Uh, I'm going to send this guy over, of course. 
Uh, you're going to stay put right here to protect this city. You're going to finish them off once and for all. Uh, finish them off. I can't uh, do anything right here. I guess next turn you're going to be able to do something. Let's send this warrior over right here. Let's heal him up for now. Uh, you are going to attack these guys up right here. You're going to go You're gonna go back, or back right here, I guess. Uh, scout, you're going to head back over here. There we go. Volcano active right here as well. Choose a new civic. We're going to go for mysticism. mysticism. And uh, over here, what do we go? Uh, what do we got? What do we want to go for right here? So, do we want another settler? I don't think we do. Not yet, anyways. Not yet. Uh, I think what we do want to go for, I think, would be another slinger. Yeah, another. Just build my army up, boys. Build my army up slowly but surely. We got my quadrium right here. Uh, we're gonna start exploring a little bit right here. We got another another pre. The Koreans. There we go. All right, so we discovered the Koreans. We love to get the hospitality. Okay, so these are the Koreans. They're right there. Perfect, boy. So we on, uh, on the, uh, discovered them, basically. That's perfect. So now that we got them, where do we go for there? This is going to be uh, rough. We've got to really face off against each other. Big war going on. Uh, we've got the unit combats fighting barbarians. The loyalty returns. I don't know. Cost. Um, do I want this? Instead of production? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good, boys. So we just got to keep it moving. All right. We got to keep it moving. Try and beat these guys up. Uh, beat my grandpa up to a pulp. Uh, it's going to be pretty tough. Let's keep a turn right here. Oh, actually. Okay. So yeah, I, have, I did have my scout right here. Did I get this thing? Yeah, oh, hold on. Let's get the... Oh, shit. What the hell? No, no. Let's keep it moving, buddy. Okay. You know what? Let's just keep it moving right there. Okay, cancel that one. And uh, you, my builder, right here. Yeah, build that one up. I forgot that that was uh, an ongoing thing going on right there. So, all right. Let's skip a turn now, boys. This is... Uh, I'm, I'm focused on war right now. I wasn't ready for war, though. I mean, I was taking care of barbarians all of a sudden. Of all people, I thought the Chinese would be the one attacking me since our tiles are literally connected to each other right off the bat, but... I guess it's our actual grandpa decided to expand himself. A dedication is most welcome. The Koreans, you're welcome to be with us. They're attacking our city right now. They're gonna. Oh, that's my capital, man. It's gonna fall apart. I need to. I need some help right here. I need some really good, uh, big time help. I'm gonna send this unit over right here. Send this unit over as well. Get some uh, bonuses right here. I'm gonna send uh, my builder right there. Ippolita, you're gonna you're gonna get what Ippolita okay what the hell come on now all right there we go there we go disperse the clan there we go just like that no more clans over here she's gonna be able to do whatever I'm gonna need her in the south protect my uh my city right here this is not good these guys are destroying everything they're literally destroying my goddamn place I gotta get whole head over here I guess and my scout I'm gonna send him backwards uh, Quadra Ram, I'm just going to keep moving him uh, south, boys. There we go. And uh, same for you go here. Oh, disperse the clan. There we go. So ho that's how you do it. Okay. So disperse the clan just like that. I'm going to have to upgrade somebody here. This is not good, boys. Not good at all. All right. So I'm going to have to uh, upgrade this unit. I'm going to use my cheat, uh, my cheat to upgrade this guy. Battle Cry is uh, upgraded to a 1 at least. This is rough. This is rough. I can't focus on upgrading my cities anymore because they're goddamn everywhere. The Mongolians are actually really strong. They've got four units enc encircling me, boys. I've got a fifth one right here. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm, uh, I'm in circle. It's really, um, really bad right now. So I think we're going to end it right here, boys, for today. We're going to find out uh, what we got to do in order to save my capital. I think my capital is in big time danger. So we got to uh, do something right here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.